Hello everyone, this is HTS Kuski here. Welcome back to my channel. It is time for some more StarCraft II action. We are going to be playing through the Legacy of the Void campaign. I have played through this like a hundred years ago. Do I remember anything? Absolutely not. Uh, but I've been reading through your guys' comments and honestly, thank you so much for the support. It literally means... I mean, people always say it means the world to me. Uh, we'll, we'll do something more reasonable. Like, it means... It means pasta to me. You know, pasta's great. Pasta makes so many people happy. It makes me happy. So it means pasta to me, which in my head sounded way cooler before I was saying it out loud. But we have changed our home screen to good old Zeratul. Can't see those Zeratul nips that we got very familiar with in the first game. But uh, seriously, a big thanks to everyone. Not only in the comments. I think there was like three or 400 comments or something like that on the video, but also on Facebook. Who knew? Who knew that Facebook was so popular? So if you don't follow me on Facebook, I guess go do that. Go tag a friend or something and be like, hey, this dork is back. Uh, and also, can't forget about the old StarCraft II clan. Eh, they call them a group, but everybody knows there's a clan. I don't know if there's a ranking of groups or clans by followers, but I was shocked at how many people are still in the Husky StarCraft group. So if you want to go join that, you can. If you don't have StarCraft II installed, I guess install it and just go follow it and then... Uh, log out because you have too much anxiety to play on ladder. I don't know. That's what I would do. Uh, but anyways, let's get back into the campaign. I like how my intro was like nine minutes of me just talking about completely stupid stuff. So I think missions completed to one. And you know what? Can I change the difficulty? How do I? What is cut? That, that was not the right button, guys. We're literally going to leave me trying to navigate the menus here, which is how you know I'm good at video games. I can't even figure out the actual menu. Uh, let's see if I do continue. I want to change the difficulty. Okay, you guys, let me know in the comments down below. How do I change the difficulty? Definitely need to figure that out. Because normal was like, I guess I am a step above normal, which uh, makes me feel My pretty special. Let's see what they say. Temple grounds, and we are ready to move against the Taldarim. This should prove to be a truly glorious battle, brother. Oh, that was it? I literally was trying to like play another game on my phone, and I... Didn't even have time to boot it up. Why is it like a hundred degrees in my office? Hold on, I'm literally, we're living in the future so I can literally do this from my phone. And you know, most people, most gaming YouTubers would be like, all right, I'm gonna edit this out of the video because this is a waste of time. The viewership is dropping off. It's hurting the algorithm, uh, but I actually don't care. Yeah, it is almost 80 degrees in this room. Let's, uh, let's, let's remedy this here really quick. And there we go. You know, let's bump it down to 77. <laughs> I uh, guess at 80 degrees, I start sweating like crazy. So uh, so here's the uh, the challenges that I forgot to read last time. So complete the Ghost in the Fog mission in the Whisper of Bloom campaign. Got it. Acquired 3,500 best meat gas from eruption sites. All right, I don't know what that means. Uh, sounds like something that should be investigated by a doctor. Eruption sites? That can't be good. Destroy all enemy nexuses on normal difficulty. Oh, here we go. It's down here. All right, well, if you already posted in the comments how to change the difficulty, uh, leave your comment. Anyways, and we can all look dumb together. All right, so we're going to try hard. I don't know if I'm ready for Brutal quite yet. I've heard Brutal is actually pretty brutal. All right, three and a half minutes in the video. Haven't actually started the mission yet, so here we go. Oh, boy. Defend the ramps leading into your base with photon cannons. They're the easiest place to fend off enemy attacks. Not sure if that has to do with this mission or just a general tip. Ooh, this looks kind of cool. Of Eris. Within those ancient walls lies our last hope. Taldarim, seal the temple. None enter until my work is done. Any who defies my order will answer to their High Lord with blood. The Taldarim High Lord is here. This surely bodes ill. Our difficulties do not end there, Zeratul. This world is in its death throes. The Vespin reserves beneath the surface are turbulent. The planet is in a state of constant eruption. These fissures are the last remaining source of Vespin. We will have to brave them to raise our army. I pray this temple of yours is worth it. All right. How dare you question the legitimacy, legit, legit, 
legitimacy, that's an easy word to say, of the Tassadar nips. Uh, so what do we got here? I don't, how do I use any ground unit to collect 100 Vespine gas? All right, so that's how we get the gas, I guess. There's no gas over here as... The planet's core pressure is rising. This counter will keep you aware of the current seismic pressure. Be prepared to move out. I expect a fissure will erupt shortly. You require my skill. All right, not quite sure what that means, but I guess we just wait for that thing to erupt. And yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll see. Ooh, we have ship upgrades. Got to get that void raise, void raise. Oh man, I haven't saying that in a minute. Uh, if you know, you know, you know. All right, well, looks like there's some enemy units down here. They are nothing against my Void Ray. My poor Zealots are actually, unfortunately, not doing so hot. All right, they got them Zealot legs going, always nice. Guess we'll just keep these going. And, you know, they gave us quite look, a fleet beacon. Can we really get carriers, like, this easily? Guess we'll get a forge. I don't know, but I kind of want to do, uh, okay, so there's that. Is it, like, is it going to rupture everywhere, or is it just going to be at the new locations? I, I don't, I don't honestly understand how this whole map works. So I guess we'll figure it out together. Do you know how Chrono Boost works? Ah, it tells you where it's at. All right. Okay. To collect the Vespine. Vespine gas. You know, they kind of say it a little, like... I feel like I used to say Vespian gas. Vespine? Vespine! You know, the Protoss are the smartest race in the StarCraft universe, uh, right guys? So if they say Vespine, <laughs> Ves Vespian, Ves, I, how, how do I used to say it? Vespian or Vespine? <laughs> it's not so fun to say. Vespine, that's why, that's how I know I'm, I'm a Protoss player uh, through and through. Oh, I should probably make pounds. I'm a little bit distracted by the Vespine. Is my game speed slow again or am I tripping? Am I tripping? Maybe I'm tripping. Gameplay. Get what? Why did it switch? I'm so con guys. I'm so confused. It's because I don't have enough Vespine. Vespine. Gas. <laughs> I can't ever unhear it uh, said that way. All right, I'm gonna go over here. Looks like there's some baddies over there. Nope. Don't attack your own pylon. I feel like what? 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 Where'd this guy come from? Get out of here, buddy. Checkpoint reached. That's always good. All right, well, you know, I think I need some sentries. The Dark God has no use for you. He will not suffer you to live. Oh, wait, no, no, I gotta follow the pro tip, which is put cannons by ramps, as that's the best place to defend against enemy attacks. Oh, wait, what is this? I don't know, it's blinking at me. It's very upset. Oh, there's a cannon over there. But they didn't listen. It's not by the ramp. They didn't put it by the best place to defend against enemy attacks. That's actually quite a bit of stuff. Yeah, eat a force field. That's going to do a lot. No, get out of there, Sentry. You can do it. All right, well, thankfully, uh, watch this micro, guys. Watch it. You know? You know, you can say I haven't played in a while, but, man, my mic... Oh, okay, you guys didn't see that. Uh, okay, you know, my micro's still top-notch. Still top-notch. Thank goodness for that cannon. That actually was quite the pro tip. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do that. We got to go collect some Vespi... <laughs> I can't. I can never unhear it. I literally saw a meme on Instagram because you guys know Instagram. It like it doesn't show you what your friends post anymore. It just shows you random memes that you don't want to see. Uh, but there was one that was like you know, and it was a picture of a guy holding like you know those old photos of people holding cats and they're like really awkward. Uh, it was one of those pictures, and it said the word homeowner has the word meow in it. And now every time you say homeowner, your your brain is gonna want to say home meow home. Ho meowner. I don't know. It's kind of sticking with it. that and Vespine today is really kind of what's sticking with. Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm talking way too much. We gotta we gotta make some pylons here. The Tal'Darim are mining these rock formations. Are they? Yes. I'm detecting a strong seismic reading in those locations. They must hide something of value. We should take a closer look. Let's take a closer look, guys. You know what? I'm detecting another eruption. Fissure locations have been marked. You know, I'm expecting another eruption as well, which is why we need these sweet zealots. Zealots. <laughs> I feel like when they were making StarCraft, do you think they were like, let's make, oh geez, let's make our unit names as confusing as possible. We could just call it like 
special gas. But no, let's call it Vespine. A word that nobody knows how to say except for that one Protoss character. And then they're like zealots. So everyone growing up definitely thinks it's pronounced zealot. Which is not the case. It is a scout. How I have missed you scouts. Oh, scouts were the best in Brood War. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care what anybody says at all. All right, fine. I'll make more pylons. Yada, yada, yada. I'm honestly just enjoying kind of hanging out and talking. A little. Wait, so now, look at this. Didn't mess it up. Got to kill those rocks. See what's going on. See what's hiding in there. Oh. A natural Vespine vent. I will have the Void Seeker begin extracting it from orbit. Oh, the, the, wait, what? Extracting it from orbit? That's kind of bomb. Where are you going, Sentry? Do you guys see that Sentry? Where did he think he was going? I definitely did not tell that Sentry to go there. All right, we're just going to make a bunch of Zealots. A bunch of Zealots. And, yeah, we're doing fine. We're doing great. Everything's fine. Probably need more Sentries. Look how cute he is. He's down to one HP. Kind of love how they've been buffing the Sentry. This shield recharge. Pretty awesome. All right. Oh, we got this. We got this base easy. Definitely got this easy, right, guys? Come on, stalkers. You can do it. Oh, man. There's another another void ray. I don't know. Kind of annoying, this base. All right. Thankfully, the scout's not attacking my air unit, so that makes that much easier. All right. Zealots, you got this. We can kill that easy. We are totally fine. Yeah, yeah, require more Vespine. Everybody gets it that we need more Vespine. But we also got to expand, you know? Got to get that second base up. How's my second base timing at looking, guys? Am I following the build order correctly? Sure hope so. All right. Well, we're just going to make another gateway. I want to make a carrier, but I don't know where I'm going to get all this Vespine. Like, do I have to get this Vespine before, before the eruption happens again? Do I lose out on... Additional Vespin. Never have I talked about Ves Ves Vespian gas so much in a single video. Alright, put up that little nexus. Are here. Okay, well, that's a lot of fissures. That's a word that's not used nearly enough in the English language. Fissure. I feel like I... Whoa, they have Archons? Get out of here. Get out... Whoa, okay, this is a lot. There's a lot going on here. This doesn't seem... This does not seem viable. Got to set up that forward pylon, you know? All right, we're going to... Okay, they're really... Oh, they are very upset. Okay, yeah, you guys go back there. You guys go back there. Why is that base so intense? All right, we got to start... Start mining here. Got to set up some pylons near the ramp because that's the best place to defend against an enemy attack, as they say. All right, give me those sentries. No, I swear the, the in-game voice says it differently than she does. And this is just causing mass confusion. The people are very confused. By the people, I mean me. I just don't understand. I feel like everything I used to know, I don't know. Can the Aryans pick it up? No, let's not find out. Let's just go this way. Zealot, don't do it. What? What? The timing! The timing of the counterattack! Is too great. I forgot that I changed it to hard. This is why you need to put cannons by the ramp, guys. Should have listened. Definitely should have listened. What? This guy over here is in, like, the broest of spots. All right. I think we're fine, right? We're going to be fine. We're going to be absolutely fine. And I got my best bean gas, so it is all good. You know what? Give me more zealots. guess I only made one more gateway. But also, what do I want to do for fun? We're going to do a Stargate. Get some Stargate 9 going. And we got to get all of our probes going. Just get just get all the units here. All right, we're going to get the best bean over here. Of course, they have an Archon up here as well. Why wouldn't they? Yeah, woo! At least they give a hundred each time. That's kind of, that's kind of gratifying. More stalkers. All right, we're getting we're getting more cannons. You know, I've been embarrassed once. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, can't get fooled again. I think is the correct saying. Is it Texas? They say that. All right, here we go. These guys are not going to destroy us this time. 
All right. You know, is it a noob move to throw the extra cannons? Perhaps. Have I always been a noob? Perhaps. All right, they got those rocks up there. I am detecting another eruption. Fissure locations have been marked. Okay, well, thank you for marking the fissure locations. Okay, but I kind of want to make void rays. Kind of want to make void rays. I'm all about those void rays. How do we get over there? Do we have to use a... It's called blink, yo. That's how we get over there. Never to kill these rocks. I want to make scouts. Why is it not letting me make scouts? That is a dang shame. And we got we to gotta upgrade our void rays, obviously. All right, about to get that eruption happening. Oh my goodness, really guys, come on. You gotta step it up, stalkers. What is this? How is he in the perfect spot? And the Colossus? Oh my goodness, these guys, these guys really coming in with the pro strats. Okay, you guys get back to work. Look, I know it may be a hostile work environment, but you just gotta, you just gotta deal with it. Just gotta deal with the probe, sorry. And also your robots, so I don't have to pay you a salary. Okay, these Colossi are... Next time I'm going to learn that I've been saying Colossi is wrong this entire time. Would not surprise me. Nothing zealots can't fix. Alright, let's see what's up here. Oh, it's an entire base and a carrier! Fantastic! That was a pretty... You know, the, the pro strat is definitely to go for the interceptors. Definitely is the way to do that. Hopefully my zealots can do it themselves. No! My void ray! This is terrible news. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. It's about time you showed up, void ray. Alright, well, that could have definitely gone much better. But, you know, you just keep resummoning units. That is the way to do it. Got it. All that's down here is what? A couple of cannons? That, both these cannons have a kill. I don't want to talk about it. Definitely do not want to talk about that. Alright, let's see what base we got up here. Ooh, I, did we finish the upgrade for our awesome Void Rays? Might as well get that armor upgrade. Might as well. I feel like I need an even further pylon. Get that forward pylon going. So many scouts. They really love their scouts over here. Easy. All right, we definitely getting a lot of gas. I think they kind of want us to make carriers. That's what we're gonna do. You know, carriers in the second mission. I vote yes. I vote absolutely yes. And, you know, obviously we're going to be able to afford three Stargates worth of carriers at a time. That is definitely going to happen. What? Not my forward pylon! That army is actually kind of, kind of annoyingly large. So I think, I think we're going we're gonna to boogie on down here just for a sec. Hopefully we don't run right into them! Is that probe attacking me or is that my probe? Okay, I think that's my probe. For a, for a second I swore that probe was attacking me. Oh man, we gotta we gotta delay these guys for a little bit. All I'm trying to do is make some carriers. No, my void rays are not are not faring very well. All right, we're just gonna keep making zealots. Zealots defeat everything is basically what I've learned. All right, guys, we got one carrier on the way. One carrier. Has has yet to arrive. We pre-ordered it. We're waiting for shipping. This is a lot of stuff. I, I should actually be able to beat this just fine. I'm not too worried about any of this. 
All right, we're waiting for our same day shipping on this carrier. Hopefully, hopefully we can get there soon. But carrier zealot, always a, a tried and true strat. I feel like you know, let's just make more gateways. You know, if you're if you're hovering way too many resources, like good old husky, all the best YouTubers talking third person, then you might as well just make more gateways. All right, I don't need any of those upgrades. Are you stuck? Really, the most advanced race in the galaxy. Our universe, I suppose. Well, he's a robot, so I don't have to pay him anything. Okay, so give me some of that. This probe is still a part of the army. You know what? He's got to stay a part of the army. He was out there zapping fools with the best of them. So he's going to be coming with me. All right, I think we can probably... Should we wait for our carrier friend? So far, can definitely not afford two Stargate or three Stargates for the carriers. All right, there we go. Carrier has indeed arrived. Yeah, make those interceptors. All right, guys, let me know down in the comments. How excited are we for Stormgate? Do you think it's going to be bomb? Are you even going to play it if it is? Do you think it's going to be bad? What do you think? I'm honestly pretty excited about any RTS game. I think I may have said this in my previous video, but I downloaded over this last month and a half, which is one of the things that kind of got me thinking about StarCraft again. I download like 20, 30 RTS games. I don't know. I didn't count, but it's it's a lot. And they are not very good, most of them. Definitely some classics, you know, like Age of Empires and Heroes of Might and Magic's not an RTS, but I love that game. There's plenty of uh, good strategy games out there, but uh-oh, uh-oh, not ideal. That, oh, this is not ideal at all. This is really, you know, we're just gonna, we're just gonna transfer over here. It's gonna be totally fine. Cool. Are we really, really talking about eruptions right now? I don't even really have any anti-air units except for my one carrier and four stalkers that are still somehow alive. All right, my probes are bringing back the goods. You know, that was all part of the plan. I'm just gonna keep making zealots. You can't, you can't stop the amount of zealots I have. Aha, another carrier. All right, we somehow need pylons despite losing many, many units. Okay, can you guys just go over there? You know, this looks like a good place just to plop down a bunch of pylons. I'm definitely curious to see on Stormgate because you know, one of the coolest things about StarCraft II in my opinion was the quality of life kind of additions that they added. Oh my god, do I still have guys stuck back here? Yep, don't tell anybody. No, definitely meant for that for them to guard that location of the map. There was an, an imminent an immediately imminent attack that was going to be headed that way. I think we all know that that is the case. And can I make any more carriers? Jeez. I don't know that going carriers on a map where you have no gas is really the ideal play, but you know that's what I'm going to do. Okay, they're giving more and more gas each one, though, which is kind of cool. That is kind of awesome. Oh, you guys, you need a new job, so you're going to go over there. And we are going to leave 110 minerals there, just because anyone... Hey, hey, got gassed up. That's something to be proud of. Hey, Husky, what did you do today? Yeah, I got gassed up. It's all good. It's a good thing. I love how... I... Oh, wait. They gave me a ton of gas. Oops. You know, I meant to do that as well. Definitely want that one that one gateway to finish much sooner than the others. Okay, you know, we don't need to talk about that. Wait, is there more gas here? Oh, yeah. Look at this. This is what we call multitasking. So we're going there. These guys are attacking and getting gas. Fantastic. Just fantastic. And this guy collected it all. You know, it should have a, a Vespin gas collected counter. That's what the people want. All right. Uh, doo, doo, doo. There we go. These guys will be back when this is finishing up. Love it. Why is there so much stuff going on here? My carriers are thankfully doing just fine. Oh, probably shouldn't have jumped right into that, but hey. We got some rocks we can destroy. Am I going to get all the achievements? I'm trying to remember what they even were. Destroy rock formations. Excellently done, Zeratul. The Void Seeker is now extracting Vespine from all three vents. 
I mean, I feel like all she talks about is Vespine gas. Whoa, where, okay. Okay, where did these guys come from? Let's get the slowest warping in Zealots of all time. All right, ah, see, that's why you save the minerals right here so you can transfer them that easily. That is a pro strat, you guys. You just leave a tiny little bit. Did I just invent a new strategy? I feel like, whoa! <laughs> what is happening? What is <laughs> I'm gonna... oh, my whole army? Why is that happening? Why is that happening to me? Oh, I don't know what's going on anymore. I don't care about the eruptions right now. Oh no. Oh, did we, we didn't get that on camera, did we? Oh boy. Okay, where did that army come from? You know, I would like to file a complaint with your manager. These guys need to come back. Uh, this, this, this is not okay. So what, we have my one zealot who can go collect these minerals or the best bean gas for me. Oh man, my blood pressure is way too high. I don't know if my cholesterol is just too high or my blood pressure from this game is way too high, but that was, that was wildly inappropriate enemy Protoss. This is why we hate PVP. We're just gonna go all carriers all the time. It's the only thing I can keep alive apparently, don't tell anybody. You do not wanna be the zealot that gets warped into my army. That is what I am learning. Like where's the zealot that I just sent here? Oh no wait, he just went back because my micro is that good. Okay, so you go there. You go over here, which is gonna take him forever to get there. Okay, so there's that. I got two cannons here. Should be more than enough. All right. Give me all that, please. All right. Thankfully, these guys can carry a lot of gas. That's basically all we need is carriers. Okay. So I think the other one was destroy all the Nexi and then just beat. Is it Nexi? Is that what you call multiple Nexuses? Nex Nexus I. Uh, so I need to come down here. I'm sure there's one, right? There's got to be one in here. Or did I kill it by accident already? I don't know. We're going to see what's down there. Maybe I'll get a couple of zealots just to die, I guess. You know? Many of you will die, and that's a sacrifice I am willing to make. Okay, so we are actually making three carriers at a time, which brings me great joy. I think everything's fully upgraded. All right. Come on, carriers. You got this. Okay, so let's, I feel like we should just run away and let the carriers literally do everything. This seems like the ideal plan. This is always the noob, the noob approach to anything StarCraft, just mass carriers. Okay, so we're good there. Oh no, this one guy mined out the little patch, my little security patch. But I think we're probably pretty good. I guess technically these guys could come over here. And I am so ready. This Protoss has made a fool of me. And now it is time to make a fool of them. I do feel bad that one probe I had in my army, I think, is no longer with us. A moment of silence. Alright, that moment of silence is over. There's no way they can kill this many carriers, right? I mean, carriers, there's no way. The scout doesn't even know to attack the carrier. So, I'm feeling pretty good. Yes, we are definitely poised for victory as long as you are not a zealot in my army. I feel like that'll grab him. Wait, is there really rocks right here that I can't get past? Alright, well, we got all that. Nothing's down here. I think I think we can waltz our way into victory at this point. But I guess we'll see. I also thought that before. Okay, another eruption. Everybody gets your eruptions. Okay, I actually have quite a bit of resources now, which is nice. I got quite a few carriers on the way. You know, I love the confidence coming out of my carriers. All right, maybe you can just come up here and drop one there. I don't think I'll need it, but... All right, let's see what's in this top left corner. Is this mission supposed to take half an hour? I don't know. Well, I mean, what do you think I'm doing here? 
All I have is carriers left. Carriers have indeed arrived. Oh, this is so satisfying. Name one thing more satisfying. Whoa, okay, that's a lot. We can talk about what's satisfying in just a second. No! Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I guess I do need this. There we go. Should I have ran that far away? I'm gonna go with absolutely yes. Absolutely yes. You know what, and just to add insult to injury, you know what you guys get? You get a Nexus. That is the pro strat. Nope, you better not kill my, my BM Nexus. That's like even more BM. All right, I feel like we're probably fine. You know, let's get some sentries. That seems like what we need right now, right? They don't really have a lot of anti-air left. Anyways, name one thing more satisfying than right-clicking like dozens of carriers onto an enemy and just watching them evaporate. I'll wait. There's literally nothing. All right, you guys are just gonna hang out here with the carriers. Yeah, recharge those shields. Kind of love that that's a thing. Not gonna lie, that's a, that's a Colossus. All right, took care of it. All right, get those zealots going. You know what, what other BM building can we do? Proxy Dark Templar, I think so. I think that's totally reasonable. Okay, wait, 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 don't kill that, don't kill that. No, 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 stop attacking it. What, you, ah, ah, no, the Nexus, kill the, ah, you're the mass. Good. Oh. Ah. The Taldarim are not known to take defeat lightly. They come to wrestle with the right now. And in force. Go, Zeratul. Find the answers you seek within the temple. Our blades shall grant you the time you need. You have my thanks, Talus. And Taro Tassadar. Adun Toridas, brother. Alrighty, well, let's just pretend that that never happens. And if, you know, if I was feeling good, I would take the time to edit in the achievement just to make it look like I got it. Oh, boy, but, you know, leave it to me to to pull that off. But, like, in the wrong way, not in a good way. But, anyways, that was super fun. 36-39, that has got to be a world record. There is no way anybody has ever beaten this mission quicker than that. I'm just going to go to bed thinking that that's true. But uh, anyways, this was super fun. Again, thanks everyone on Facebook. Everyone in the comments down below. I love reading through your guys' comments. I really, really appreciate it. And uh, I don't know. What else should we do for the algorithm? Give it a thumbs up. Tag a friend. Uh, go on your local news and say Husky's back. Uh, invest $10 million in YouTube. Uh, Google stock. I, I don't know, guys. Do, do whatever you want to help out. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy it. And of course, I'll see you guys next time. That Nexus is going to haunt me. The carriers during the cutscene couldn't couldn't throw me a bone here. Zeratul and his nips couldn't couldn't just walk right over there and give it a few swipes. Do you guys think Zeratul would use Tinder? You know, he really likes to swipe a lot. <laughs> that sounded funnier in my head. Alright, I'm out of here.